Define the limit of sine theta, tan theta over theta as theta approaches zero. We just need to know some trig and be familiar with the limit of sine x over x as x approaches zero. That's equal to one. You don't have to do this, but if your knowledge of tangent isn't great, it may be preferred to just write it as sine over cosine so you have some more familiar functions. So this would just be the same limit, but tangent replaced with sine over cosine. Then it's easy to split this limit up as the product of limits. So we can split it up like this, sine theta over theta in its own limit, and then the tangent function, which we rewrote as sine over cosine in its own limit. With tangent written as sine over cosine, it's easy to see that this limit evaluates to zero because sine of zero is zero and cosine of zero is one. So it's just zero over one, that's zero. Now what about sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero? Like we said, that's a fundamental limit that you should remember, it approaches one. So the product is just one times zero. Hence, the original limit is equal to zero. And that's how to evaluate this simple trig limit. There's a link in the description to my lesson proving sine theta over theta will approach one if that's unfamiliar to you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and also be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.